Hello friends, it's Joy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I created two wedding cards using Pretty Pink Posh's cake shaker die, but we're not going to make a shaker out of this. I did a live about a week ago and I did make some shaker cards from this, some birthday shaker cards. And on that live I mentioned I would like to make a really pretty cake uh, using this and, and not making it a shaker. So here is the video for that. So I have the solid piece die cut. Then I am using Gina K's Kindness Silhouette stamp set on this. And I just think it's so pretty. I love these little images. They're so delicate. This is going to be our greenery, so to speak. This first card for, or excuse me, this first cake is going to be red and white. I think it's so stunning. I love the white background and then this beautiful pop of red. So I am going to stamp on the bottom layer of the cake and the top layer of the cake. I am using Simon Says Stamps Cherry Ink. I'm gonna ink this up a couple times because it gets darker. And then once it really soaks into this paper and dries, you just have this beautiful red image. I'm gonna add one more little piece of greenery here on this corner and then we can put that one aside. For the next cake, I'm gonna do some uh, white embossing. So I prepped my cake with my powder tool. I am using some mint tape like I did on the first cake because I don't want the stamped images from the bottom layer getting onto the top layer. I want those to be separate. We're gonna do a emboss resist technique on this cake. And so that's why I'm using the white embossing powder because when we do a little bit of ink blending, it's going to resist that and then we will see the white. So I sprinkled on my white embossing powder. I'm heating that with my heat tool. I do personally like to have my heat tool on once I start stamping for my heat embossing because I want my heat tool to get nice and hot. It helps to not warp your paper as much. It just melts it quicker and you just, the process is so much faster. So let's do our top piece of our cake here. I did prep that with my powder tool. I am inking it with a Versamark embossing ink, but any clear embossing ink will work just fine. Now let's use some Spun Sugar Distress Oxide ink, and I'm gonna softly ink blend on this cake. I don't want it to be too dark, but I do want enough color that I can see my embossed images. So I'm just taking my time, getting a nice good pink coverage, and you can start seeing that white embossing. I'm gonna take a dry cloth and just buff gently buff off my embossing powder that's already melted that way you can get all the ink that's sitting on top of it and get that off of there then from honeybee stamps i am using the lovely layers sweetheart roses die and i'm just using the roses i'm not even going to be using any of the leaves this one is for the pink cake so i want pink roses I am using Copic markers to color these, just adding some quick color, nothing spectacular. I want to use, or I am using R81 and 83 for these roses. I started off with R81 on this one. I wanna add a little bit of a darker color, so that's why I'm also adding the R83, and then I can blend it out with the R81. So I'm gonna do this, each cake has six roses. I am only using the buds from that Lovely Layers Sweetheart Roses die. So you have a little bit of an opened bud, which is what I'm working on here, and then there's a smaller one, and it's just like a more of a closed rose bud. So now that I know how I wanna color these, I'm just gonna quickly get these colored, adding some of the darker marker to the areas that have the embossed from the dies, so the embossed areas from the die cuts, and then blending it out with that lighter pink. Let's finish up this third bigger rose, and then I can move on to the smaller ones. So there's three of each on each card. Not that I, I didn't choose it that way, just when I was laying it out, it just made sense to have three of each kind. You could do all of one kind, and I think that would be beautiful as well. So here I'm adding that 
R83 and then now I can come back in and just quickly blend with the R81. Now let's put these together. I am going to use an embellishment wand to put these together because they're so tiny that you can just pick them up and place them down. So I'm using my Barely Art liquid glue, just adding some dots of adhesive and then putting my pieces in place. I did die cut some greenery pieces that go at the bottom of these buds. I am not gonna use the leaves, just the little pieces that are at the base of the flower. So let's finish these. And there's just three pieces for each one of these buds. They do go together really quickly. This one I had lined up wrong. I have to turn that one over. Again, just adding a dot of glue, lining up on the edges. You can play with it ahead of time and kind of see where everything lines up. And also Honeybee Stamps has little templates that you can see how these go together, which is really nice. Now for the red and white cake, I am not coloring the roses red. I'm actually keeping those white, but I am gonna add some red to the greenery. So here's the little greenery pieces that go at the bottom. For these pink flowers, I do want these to actually be green. So I am using uh, my Copic markers in BG 90 and 93. So I'm gonna start with the 93, that's the darker color, and adding just a little bit at the bottom, and then blending it out with the BG90. This goes really quickly, which is good because there's a lot of these little roses. So let's finish getting those colored. And when I go over it with that lighter color, it blends in and kind of softens that darker color that we laid down. Again, adding just dots of glue and then popping these guys right in place. And I do think that this piece, this little greenery piece, it does absolutely finish these off, even though I'm not gonna be using any other greenery on this card, because we've already stamped that with those images from Gina K, her Kindness Silhouettes stamp set. So that's our greenery. So here are the red ones that we are, or I'm gonna be coloring. I'm coloring the greenery red. So doing the same thing with adding a dark color. So I'm using R39 and then blending it out with R37. I already adhered those white roses together. It's the same ones that I did with the yellow, or excuse me, the pink, I'm not sure where yellow came from, with the pink roses. So I didn't need to show that again. So those are already adhered and then I can adhere the red greenery to this. So again, just adding dots of glue and using my embellishment wand to put those in place. And I think it's so pretty. I liked making two cards. I think one is super elegant. The red and white one is just very elegant. And then the, the pink one is just really soft and pretty. I couldn't just do one because I had both of these images in my mind. Okay, let's adhere our roses. I love to mention, you guys know this, so I want all of the roses to be popped up with foam tape. I originally started with my foam adhesive strips and was trimming it, and then I'm like, wait a minute, this is too much work. Let me get my foam squares, which I'm gonna do here in just a second, and then I can just add those. I, as you can see, I'm lining these up with the stamped images to where it looks like off of the greenery, <laughs> the roses are coming off of those. So that's, that's my plan for how I'm lining these up. And these foam little squares go so much faster. I don't have to trim anything, but look at how 3D that looks. I think it's so pretty. Let's do the same thing for the pink ones here. Put those guys in place. I loved, I love this embossed background with this pink cake. That white embossing I just think is so pretty. We've got a couple more to put in place here. And then we have all of this beautiful dimension on this really pretty wedding cake. And then I'm going to create the background. I am using Honeybee Stamps. Oh, look how pretty that is. Honeybee Stamps, uh, the, oh my gosh, what are we using? Sorry, the Eyelet Lace 3D Embossing Folder. This has a coordinating die. I'm lining it up on 
the part that sticks out, the debossed area, not the embossed area. And then I'm putting this, taping this in place with some white cardstock in my folder and it's going to emboss and then die cut that beautiful scalloped edge at the bottom. I want some color to pop out from behind that. So I am going to ink blend using Simon Says Stamp Cherry Ink. Just on part of this cardstock, you're not going to see the whole thing, but that way we can just line it up like that. I do want it to be a tad bit darker, so I'm going to go a little heavier on the ink blending. Then for the next card, I'm going to do the Spun Sugar. So I'm going to ink blend that same kind of area. We don't need to do the whole thing, just enough that that embossed area will cover. On the pink cake only, I am going to do the splatter effect with Honeybee Stamps Be Shimmery Watercolor. I love this stuff so much, and I'll show you here in a second how beautiful it is. It's so shiny and so, so pretty. So I thought this cake could handle it. I did not do it on the red and white. I wanted to leave that alone. But that is so stunning. I love this stuff so much. All right, let's get our sentiments. I am using honeybee stamps oh which sentiment stamp are we using oh you know what i totally forgot the name of it so i it will be listed and linked for you guys below i apologize i think i didn't write it down on my paper here but i will have it listed for you guys it says love is in the air and i'm going to do that for both of my cards here i did decide to do some gold embossing my second image didn't stamp well, so I'm gonna put this back in the Misty stamp it one more time. I do like this simple, small sentiment. I think it fits perfect on this card. So of course I uh, prepped my paper with an anti static powder tool. I am using Versamark clear embossing ink, sprinkling on that gold embossing powder, and then putting that in place there. And here I'm gonna use the coordinating dies to die cut this out. I'm gonna tape that down and run this through my die cut machine. I'm gonna do that for both of my sentiments. This sentiment has a lot of cute little bird sayings because it goes with, um, from, their new, from Honeybee Stamp's new release, the cute little love birds and there's a bird cage and things like that. But this is perfect for a wedding. Uh, I want some more dimension, so I'm gonna add some of these, uh, this foam tape behind my embossed area and the cake. So this has a lot of dimension on this. And then we can adhere this down. So for the pink cake, the scalloped edge is going to be at the top of the card. And for the red cake, the scalloped edge is going to be at the bottom of the card. But I want to center this right in all that polka dot area and then of course the sentiment needs to have foam tape because I always I mean it's pretty rare that my sentiment does not have foam tape my original thought that I was going to adhere it in the colored area the pink and the red area but I lined it up right below that scalloped area and it just looked so pretty so that's where I'm going to place that so much better I love that and I love that gold embossing. Let's adhere the other cake. We're gonna get that together. So again, doing the same thing, adding some foam adhesive behind our embossed card panel. Also adding some foam adhesive behind the cake. What I really love about this red and white cake is that because the flowers are white, it, it is so, it looks like the background of the cake is just raised up in this floral shape. I think it's so pretty. I almost adhered that down wrong. I'm like, this isn't right. Uh, in the comments below, let me know if you have a favorite. What what design is your favorite? I, I think the red and white one is my favorite, but I also really love that pink one. So it's really close to me. I can't really decide, but maybe you guys have a favorite. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. So this is gonna go below the cake. Then I'm gonna finish it off with a few gold foil confetti from Studio Katia. This is some of my favorite um, kind of confetti sequence to go on a card. 
So I'm just gonna add three of those. These will adhere to a white A2 size card base and then let's take a look at these up close. See how that white flower just pops off the background? I think it's so, so pretty. I just think this is such an elegant card. And then you have this pink and white one. It's just so sweet. I love how both of these turned out. I just think they're so darling. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you enjoy this project and I hope that you guys feel inspired. Have a wonderful day.